Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Destiny and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we're going to go ahead and start working with adding address, making addresses and actually activating address. So this video is going to be a really fun one to make sure to drop a like, consider subscribing as it really means the world to me. And also you want to follow along with the tutorial, check out the links in the description below. They should help you get a template and yeah, that's going to be it. So without wasting any more time, let's go ahead and get started. Now, if you take a close look at the e-commerce backend logic video number 34, not actually actually video number 34 but the 34th thing that we're going to be adding will be user address so firstly we need to add a query to the dashboard view to display all addresses so i'm going to change this to addresses okay now this is the line that we need to add pretty easy all i'm going to do is head back to the view and remember we already have this address thing rather this dashboard thing that's what i was supposed to talk about and um, this is it over here, customer dashboard. Now I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add address. So I'm gonna say address should be equal to, and you remember we have this address dot objects dot filter, and I'm gonna filter by user should be equal to request dot user. So as you can see, that's what we've got over here, right? Pretty cool. So this is pretty much gonna get the address of any logged in user. Now for now, as you can see, we don't have any address in the in the database. I'm going to go ahead and add a couple addresses. So I'm simply going to come over here and I'm going to add some address. I think this is taking a lot of time to open up. What I could do is just go ahead and disconnect this. And um, yeah, we got this one address. Pretty cool. So we should get back to the to the dashboard page. So I'm simply going to hover over to the dashboard and this is what we have. So whenever we click on my address, I want to show up the addresses over here. Pretty cool. So I'm going to duplicate this and let's add an address just like that. But there is a little problem. Okay, I'm not supposed to be doing this down here, but in here. Okay, now this is just the problem. We need to add a comma over there and everything should work perfectly well. So now let's look through the addresses in the dashboard. I'm simply going to open up the dashboard HTML and I should look for billing email. Actually, I'm looking for billing address. Yeah, that's it over there, billing address. And what's billing email? I think that should be in check or that. Yeah, we're gonna still we still gonna work with all that later. So now in the billing address, actually I customized this template a little bit. If you take a close look at this template down here, then you see that it's looking kind of different because I did a little bit of work on this. So what I'm gonna do is I could just go ahead and copy this and paste it down here. Now this is gonna be for adding addresses, but before I do this, I wanna list out all the address because right now we haven't started working with with adding addresses actually we're still working with just listing out addresses so um okay how do we do this now we need to go ahead and, and pass the, the the loop in there so what i'm simply gonna say is address and let me just say the title and let's refresh this now head back to the address and what do you notice we got new york that's that's pretty cool so let's head back here and um is that what we are supposed to have no, there is a problem this new york is something totally different how about i just say address and let's get back here and refresh come over to my my address okay great that's what we've got but i think we are missing something the address might have different names so i think the addresses have different yeah it's address and status that's pretty much what we are looking for and you know you could add in more fields you could add in a mobile number so i'm just gonna add in mobile number like the mobile number that they'd want to call for example let's say they're trying to make this order for their friend you know they might want to add in their friend's mobile number and not the mobile number that they use to register the account hopefully you guys understand now it's totally up to you if you want to add this it's not compulsory you can add in multiple fields that you want there um yeah it's totally up to you so I'm just going to leave the mobile number and the address and I'm going to go ahead and make migrations hopefully you guys already know the rules and that's whenever you mess around with the with the models, you should go ahead and make migrations and also migrate. So there is there was a problem with the make migration. I actually spelled um, an incorrect word over there. So I'm gonna okay. What am I doing? This was we make migration. Uh oh. So that's supposed to be make m a k e migrations. What's wrong with me tonight? so yeah that's great i'm gonna go ahead and migrate after making migrations you should go ahead and migrate great now let's go ahead and run the server now the server is going to be running so if we get back what did i just do what did i just do 
okay if we get back here and refresh now we should see that there there's going to be this other field for mobile numbers so i could just go ahead and pass in any mobile number this is just a dummy number i'm gonna i'm gonna go ahead and save that great now if we get back to the dashboard this is the address right we could we could duplicate this i'd say we got a break tag over here you know we could even add all this in a p tag so i could just say p and i'm gonna add this down there and let's also duplicate this again and i'm simply gonna say um address dots mobile remember that was what we got i'm also gonna say address dots and that was address i think yeah address the mobile address the address and we also need the status so i'm gonna say address dot status pretty cool so now when we refresh this come over to address again i don't know why i keep going to the okay there is a problem there is a problem so this address the address address the mobile and um hmm, let's see i'm just gonna pass in address and hopefully i didn't mess up anything over here i'm gonna refresh this one more time let's head back to the address this is what we got um there is a problem actually we can't find the address let me take a close look at the model this is what we have over here right i'm gonna copy this and actually i'm gonna get back to the view and i want to make sure that this address over here is the one that we have in our model which is actually it's now this is gonna be address dot address address the mobile and address so why is that not working now i'm gonna refresh this one more time and um head back to address okay this is what we still have address with one object hmm let's see what might the problem be so right now um let's take a close look let's take a close look I know I I'm definitely missing something and I can't seem to find it. Hopefully you guys have seen it already, but I don't know where the problem is coming from. Oh yeah, I think I I I just found out what the problem might be. So this is a query set. As you can see, it's obviously say, hey, I'm a query set over here, which means I need to run a for loop. Okay, so how do we do that? Firstly, I'm gonna come over here and I think I should run a for loop over there. I'm gonna say for a in address oh uh, yeah i think i called it address now i'm just gonna put this div in there simple as that and for this div i want to give it a border and yeah i'm gonna ju i'm just gonna give it a rounded but as simple as that i think that's pretty much what we need one and i'm gonna paste all this so i'm gonna say this should be in the p tag so i'm gonna say address dot address now let's duplicate this two or three more times i'm gonna say address the mobile and address dot status great so now let's refresh this and we should head back to the mr address okay oh 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 yeah silly mistakes of mine this is supposed to be a okay so now let's refresh this and we should be done so come over to my address what do you notice this is what we got pretty cool okay so um if we keep adding multiple addresses this is what sh we should be getting Okay, so one more thing that I'd want to do is go ahead and add in just one more simple thing. Now, we want to have a button over here that's going to help us, you know, make the address the default one and make it not to be the default one. So why are we going to make addresses default? Now, let's say a user added this address over here, main street 123, blah, blah, blah. And now they are no longer in Miami, United States. Let's say they are now in Mexico or some other places. So right now they are in another place. Now, if we don't give them the opportunity to add a new address and make it the address that should be shipped to, then there's going to be a big problem because whenever they make an order on our site, we would always ship to this address over here. So that's why we want to give the user the 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 you know the permission to actually add multiple address and choose the one that they want their particular products to be shipped to great so now over here i'm going to get rid of this and this instead is supposed to be a button and this one is going to be we could say make defaults or yeah i'm just going to say make defaults or you could pass in activate or whatever you want it's totally up to you now if we refresh this we should have this dummy looking button i'm just gonna come over here as you can see that's what we got not looking great at all so i'm just gonna add in a class i'm gonna say btn 
and yeah let's just say btn and let's see what we got if that actually you know had any effect on it great we gotta make defaults over there now for the for the status for now i'm just gonna comment that out and i want to add in an i class so this one is the one that's going to indicate if the button has been you know if the address have been activated so this is going to be fa fa dash check i think that's cycle and i simply want to pass in text dash success and let's refresh this okay let's see let's see let's see okay the key that's what we got over here i think we need to connect to the internet for all this to actually work i'm going to connect to this one or oh, yeah it's, i should think i should connect to that one that one should work now let's refresh this we'll come over here again okay great as you can see that's looking perfectly well now we don't want to show these two things over here but we want to show them simultaneously when we hit make defaults we want to show this one when we hit make defaults on another address then we want to go ahead and show that address okay so how do we achieve this now in order to achieve that i firstly before we even do this it wouldn't make sense if we go ahead and add in like a form that's going to help us add addresses how does that sound i think that should be cool so what we could do is go ahead and add, add up a simple form that's going to help us add addresses and if you take a close look over here you're going to see that the second thing says that we should go ahead and create the function and dashboard to save addresses and this is what we want to do so i'm firstly i'm going to go ahead and add up the form this is the form over here i just want to copy the this form you know take notes you can type it out and for those of you that don't actually you know like copy and paste i'm actually very very sorry for this but i'm just going to copy this form and paste it and this form isn't this isn't looking good at all so let's see where did this guy end at? it's did over there now i could just copy all this and i'm gonna head back to unminify Mr. Unminify, and this should take a couple of seconds to open up, depending on how fast my internet is, which is pretty bad. Now I'm gonna paste that over there and simply unminify this, and this should go ahead and make it look great. So yeah, it's taking a couple, it's it's taking a couple sec. So while that's loading up, how how about we just get back here and refresh now? get back to my address when this finished loading up okay what do you notice we got this right we got this but this address thing that helps us add address but actually i don't want this to be down here that doesn't look good at all so what i could do is just copy this and i could i could just put it over here at the top you know what i could do um let's see okay firstly i'm gonna put this over here at the top let's check out the omnify there's still a problem with this guy over here okay so having a problem with this one yeah whatever i'm gonna go ahead and do that my own way later so now if we head back to the address that's not still looking great because that's not where i want it to be so i'm gonna copy this and i want to bring it just at the top of the row i think that should be the perfect place for the guy and um let's refresh this okay this looks this looks pretty 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 great so now we can go ahead and add an address and add a phone and hit save address and it should the address is going to show up down here you know simple as that so how do we do that firstly i want you guys to take a close look at this now this is a div that has a row of this and in this div we have all this in it i, th I think actually that one too is in there i'm, I'm also going to push this one in here and push that one in there and finally this one also okay this is looking great now apart from the fact that this is supposed to be in here and this form i think is supposed to be outside a little bit and this one in there then this one in and finally in so this is looking great now i could add a hr over there and i could even add a br tag over there so when, when we've done all this take a close look at the input field this one has a, a name of address i want you to add that this other one has a name of phone so this is what we're going to be using to grab in whatever was typed in here okay so hopefully you guys understand now what i'm going to do is i'm simply going to head back to the view and let's let's try a simple query that's going to do this over here in the dashboard so right here at the dashboard how do we do that we could go ahead and firstly check if the required method is post so i'm simply going to say if request if request dot method is equal to post 
then what do we want to do we want to go ahead and grab the address and the phone so i'm going to say address should be equal to the amount of passing request or post the get and what do we want to get address so request or post or get we get address this address that we are getting is pretty much connected to this impute field over here using this name so we grab whatever that was passed into the value from this name over here okay another way that you could do that you say something like address dot post and change this to change this to something like that and still works perfectly well okay so but i, I just want to stick with this one for now it's it's kind of it's kind of friendly for you for beginners and this one is going to be phone and you can call this phone or you can call it mobile it's it's totally up to you whatever you want to call it i think i called it mobile in the in the model so over here i'm just going to stick with naming conventions and i'm going to call this mobile okay so now that we've done this we need to go ahead and save this so what do we do we just say um uh new address i think so um i'm just gonna give me a sec i'm gonna come over here this is supposed to be new underscore address now new address should be equal to what it should be equal to address dot object dot create and what do we want to create the first one is going to be address should be equal to the address that we grab from the input the next one is going to be mobile from the model should be equal to whatever mobile we grab from the input as simple as that okay so now when we've done all this i think that's pretty much what we want to do apart from the fact that we also need to pass in the user so user should be equal to whoever user that's logged in they should be the one that's going to create that address as simple as that now we can go ahead and add a messages that's success then we could say something like hey your address was added successfully so i'm gonna say address added successfully as simple as that or address saved still up to you now we should go ahead and return them back to the dashboard so i'm gonna say return redirect so whenever they add an address let's simply return them back to the dashboard okay so i'm gonna say return redirect call then dashboard hopefully you guys are understanding what's going on so now when we've done this how about we come over here and give this a sweet refresh head back to the address and let's try adding a new address so um i could just fill this in okay i think i got a couple addresses over here yeah i'm, I'm just gonna use that and for this phone i could pass in whatever i could just you know play around with this and let me change up this number a bit and this one should be one two two let me say three five three and let's go ahead and save address okay so it says address added successfully pretty cool and it returns us back to the dashboard pretty cool also now if you take a close look what do you notice we got two addresses over here that's fantastically fun now if we come over to the dashboard there's just one more thing that i'd want to do i don't want to see this shipping address thing over here that doesn't make any sense right yeah, that doesn't make any sense to me so what i could do is go ahead and get rid of this and right now i'm going to be changing the for loop i'm going to put this for loop just over here at the top the, at the div that started off the thing at the div that started all this off so i'm going to put it over there at the top so now let's go ahead and refresh this one more time guys and let's open this up okay what do you notice this is looking pretty cool so as you can see this is the address now this billing address thing looks really really humongous now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna reduce this and instead of billing address i'm gonna say address one let's refresh one more time come over to the to the my addresses what do you notice address one address okay instead of saying address one we could just count this we could say something like address for loop for loop dot counter now let's refresh this so it's gonna say address one or address two based on how many that we've got okay what do you notice address one address two this is pretty cool i think that's gonna be it for this video it's getting pretty much long the next one we should go ahead and start off by working on making default addresses that's what we're gonna be doing in the next one do make sure to drop a like consider subscribing as it really means the world to me and until the next video my love peace out